Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dan G, and I am the project manager for the 2008 Cal Concrete Canoe Team. Here with me is David Leon, our whole design and structural analysis officer. Our canoe this year is a product of the free speech movement occurring on the Berkeley campus in 1964. And so now, we proudly present our 2008 canoe, Vocal. To start the year, we noticed that our more ambitious graphics design would require us to avoid delays of critical activities. And so to achieve this goal, we interviewed past project managers, as well as analyzed past Cal team schedules. What this research told us was that most delays occurred during the finishing phase of the project, leading us to schedule Vocal's finishing to begin three weeks earlier than on average. And this resulted in us creating a much more intricate and cleaner graphics design. Our whole design team used ProLine software to model Vocal's hull, as well as analyze drag forces and stability. Additionally, by interviewing veteran paddlers, we were able to attain a greater understanding of how certain design characteristics affect paddlers' focus during races, which we believe is a critical component to designing a successful canoe, as more focused paddlers will be able to concentrate on effective technique and hence propel the canoe faster through the water. What paddlers told us was that first and foremost, they required a stable canoe to remain focused, leading us to design Vocal's cross-sections to be vertical walled and flat bottomed. Additionally, we designed our depth to prevent water spillage without causing paddlers to sit uncomfortably high in their seats. And finally, an optimal, max, an optimal stern keel line provided an adequate level of tracking. After a while, we created a full-scale prototype of our canoe. And after racing for six hours a week, paddlers confirmed that indeed, Vocal was faster and more stable, meaning that we had designed a superior canoe to our recent model. We performed the structural analysis using SAP 2000 for 13 different loading scenarios. We found that the highest stresses occurred during the co-ed sprint underneath paddlers' knees, and that by using a pre-stressing system, this would effectively reduce these stresses and eliminate the need for the use of structural ribs or thick gunnel, which was great for our construction team because this allowed them to create a much cleaner looking interior. And so now it was up to our materials division to design a structural mix that would meet the analysis team's requirements. For the primary binder, we selected white Portland cement because this provided a fantastic light base color, which contrasted very nicely with our graphics. Additionally, all of our aggregates are proportioned to optimize their compaction and therefore reduce the density of our mix. And by using latex, we were able to dry cure vocal, and therefore reduce the time necessary to create an appropriate de curing device on casting day. After we created the final mix, we field tested vocal's durability by placing composite plates underneath paddlers' knees. And after two hours of racing, we inspected these plates for damage, and as you can see, we found none, generating confidence that our canoe would withstand the rigors of the races. And so after five months of experimentation, we developed a structural mix that had a very nice high factor of safety, but more importantly, was more workable and cohesive, and therefore more enjoyable to play with, and solicited a lot of interest from people on casting day. On casting day, 36 workers placed Vocal's half inch thick hull by first placing a layer of concrete and scrim, followed by the pre-stressing cables, and finally additional layers of scrim and concrete. We improved quality control primarily by placing each layer starting at the middle of the form and working outwards towards the bow and stern in a more orderly fashion. For finishing, we created Vocal's vivid murals by brushing dyed concrete mixtures on top of stick-on stencils. Now, this intricate design required a lot of sanding, and sometimes we found ourselves beginning sanding at midday, and we would not leave until the sun had, sun had risen the next morning. And you know that at this point, your construction crew is a bunch of concrete canoe nuts. But really, all of this was completely worth it to us because we believe that by sacrificing this much of our time, just because we believe that creating graphics that are 100% vibrant concrete is just a really neat idea, embodies the spirit of this project and our team. And so after a year of hard work and dedication to this project, we believe that Vocal is the best canoe that we have produced in recent years.